I'm Karen Sperling, and I thought I'd show you the brushes in my new Artistry Corel Painter Brushes Volume 3. These are some backgrounds I painted with these new brushes on a photograph by Jack Zucker. So here is the source photo by Jack Zucker. I deleted what was in the background and I put the figure into a layer. And with the canvas selected, I'm going to choose a color in the color panel and I'm going to choose Edit Fill. Next I'll go into the Artistry Corel Painter Brushes 3 brush category and let's start at the top with a hint of bristles. And I'm going to choose a different color and I'll zoom up on the image by dragging clockwise on the radial dial on my Wacom and I'll press the space bar and maneuver in the image and I'll start painting. And what this brush does is it gives you, just like it says, a hint of bristles. When you first touch down, it creates some distinct bristles. And then if you don't lift the stylus and continue to paint, it will blend them. So it will give you sort of a bristly result. We'll go to Blobby 1. And this brush paints with distinct blobs. And the Blobby One Blender blends it. Blobby Two paints with subtle blobs. Let's change to a different color so you'll see. There are the subtle blobs and here are blobby ones more distinct blobs. Blobby 3 paints with subtle clusters of blobs. This is just a great way to get some texture into the background. Blobby 4 paints with distinct clusters of blobs. So you can go back and forth between all of these brushes and mix the effects. And you see that the more I paint, the more the texture is built up. Blobby Spray paints distinct blobs. It's cool on white because it adds like a bubbly effect. Now we turn to a different kind of a brush effect. For a nice texture, this Pickup Sticks brush paints with this sort of cross hatching. A nice way to build up some more texture in the background. There is a pickup sticks blender to blend the effect so that it's not so harsh. giving you a mixture of smoothness and texture.
vertical and horizontal one paints with either vertical strokes or horizontal strokes depending on the direction in which you drag your stylus. If I drag from left to right, I get vertical brush strokes. If you keep painting, the brush strokes blend. If you lift the stylus in paint, you get more distinct strokes. If you paint vertically, you get horizontal strokes. So again, when you lift and touch the stylus back down again, you get distinct strokes. And if you continue to paint, they blend. Vertical and horizontal too works the same way. but gives you a more subtle result. I'm going to select a color and go edit fill to start all over again. You're getting kind of complicated textures back there. Vertical and horizontal three works the same way, but gives you a different result. And vertical and horizontal three blender blends in a similar way. So for instance, if I put a bunch of blobby strokes down, I could then add texture with the horizontal three. So the, the results and the possibilities for background textures are really limitless. And this blends the results. Vertical and horizontal four give you a sort of 1950s geometric result in a painterly way. This is the blender from the first horizontal and vertical, and you can see the result of blending with it. More texture. So that's a look at some of the brushes in the 
Volume 3 Artistry, Corel Painter Brushes Collection. I'm going to go Command A to B to clear the canvas to show you the rest of them. These brushes down here, the ones that have watercolor in front of them, are based on watercolor brushes and they act a little bit differently. I'm going to fill with a color so I have a beginning. So this is the first watercolor blobby one and the idea is it gives you a watercolor effect. Watercolor blobby two gives you a more distinct result. Watercolor 3 gives you an even more distinct result. And watercolor 4 gives you a more subtle result. In real life, when you combine watercolor, it gets darker and darker, and that's how these watercolor brushes work as well, except for number two, will let you lighten the watercolor brush strokes. The others won't. but they give you a cool result by mixing the colors. And then lastly, watercolor strokes one adds watercolory brush strokes. These strokes go in the direction you drag in. And I'm kind of dragging diagonally to get them to go up and down. I'm going to fill again with another color Oh, and look what happened. It's good that that happened. Notice that the brush strokes just change color a little bit. That's because I'm painting in the watercolor layer. So I'm going to go layers, dry digital watercolor, and that will set the brush strokes into the canvas. And now I can go edit fill and fill with a color. And now I'll keep going with my watercolor brush strokes so you can see better how they work. So you put them down and then they diffuse. Giving you distinct looking brush strokes. 
And last but not least, there's a watercolor strokes blender that lets you blend the results. And again, you can mix and match brush strokes. You can also mix the non-watercolor brushes with the watercolor ones, but the watercolor brushes are in a different layer. So if you paint with the pickup sticks, the color goes behind the watercolor. So you get a better result if you go layers dry digital watercolor first, and then paint. And those are the Artistry Corel Painter Volume 3 brushes, available at the Artistry Mag website. Happy painting!